Redbeard be having a red ale today? D double the redness? What be going down, people of the world? Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch. Welcome back to another daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We have got a can of Amber Red Ale by Cameron's Brewing. Ooh, yes, isn't it pretty? If you saw by chance my last Cameron's beer review that I did, my last vlog, um, I talked about their new label design. They, these just kind of changed not too long ago. I like them. It's very, very kind of cool and abstract looking and really not sure what to expect from this red ale. So let's find out. Let's crack her open for today's glass. Let's see what we have got. I'm assuming some redness. <laughs> yeah. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world going to let you watch my videos. The beard loves you also very, 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 very much. Oh yes. Oh yes he does. I smell hops. Definitely has a hoppy character to it. But I, I, I've i come to like the hoppy character. So the color is... Am Amber? <laughs> Decent looking carbonation. Let's give her a shot. Ooh. Ooh. It's hoppy, but also really nice and malty with the uh, kind of caramel hints and stuff going on. That is really, really good right there. Cameron's beers have kind of been hit or miss for my palate for the most part, so I really wasn't sure what to expect here. Pleasantly surprised. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. So much yummy. Wow. Very, very, very smooth. Like the hoppiness is there, but it's, it's, it's not a big hoppy blast of any kind. It's just there and then followed very, very nicely by the malty flavor, which hangs around, but it's, it's very pleasant flavor to be hanging around. So this works well. The wild black bear has a lot in common with our Amber ale. Both are complex, intelligent, and incredibly unique. This West Coast style ale uses caramel malt and citrusy Cascade mountain hops to create layers of delicious depth. I got the caramel. That makes me happy. Good for me. Enjoy the generous hop aroma and smooth maltiness followed by a tasty finish. I... Wow! I think this might be the first beer that I pretty much got everything right. I'm, I'm incredibly proud of myself right now. Yay! Uh, what do we got? Ingredients anywhere? No? Really? Cameron's? That's not cool. It is 5% alcohol, but there's no ingredients. It also seems to have won a few awards as well. It won gold at the Ontario Brewing Awards, and gold at the Canadian Brewing Awards, and gold at the U.S. Open Beer Championship. So, well done, Cameron's. This is, without any doubt, my favorite beer that you brew that I have tried thus far. Well, I did give myself a lot of props. I don't think I would have really... I got the hoppiness, but I wouldn't have picked Citra as the hop. I don't know the hops, really, but I know Citra is a citrusy hop, and I'm not getting a lot of citrus. But... My palate's kind of weird. Today being June 27th, on this date in 1759, General James Wolfe began the Siege of Quebec. And I didn't even really know this, but Fr the French were actually one of the first European colonies or European 
countries to come over here and colonize and they had almost all of North America. And if General James Wolfe hadn't done what he did, we'd probably all be living in Quebec right now. Also on this date, in 2007, Tony Blair resigned as the British Prime Minister basically because of the Iraq War. And that almost coincides, like, to the day with the whole Brexit thing that just happened and uh, David Cameron, who is now resigning because of that. Crazy shit going on over there in the UK. Less crazy shit going on here in Canada. It's kind of nice. Just crazy delicious flavors going on in this beer. Oh. That's really good. That's actually really, really, really comparable to New Ontario Frisky Pete's. The English Pale Ale. It's funny because New Ontario actually makes a red ale, which will be reviewed soon. They have it in cans now. It wasn't before. Um, but yeah, it's weird because the red ale by New Ontario is nothing like this red ale. But this red ale is a lot like the English Pale Ale from New Ontario. Interesting thing to note. If you care. If you care, well, my, my, my voice just kind of hit puberty for a second. You know what time it is. Time for me to be sad. Because this is, I want more. I really do, that was great. Drink number is the last. That's delicious. Delicious beer. So, Cameron's Brewing, your Amber Red Ale. Rating. Eight. No ingredients. Uh, that's, that's, that's a dock of two points, because aside from that, it, it would have been a ten. I'm not going to lie. Put your ingredients on your beer. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button with your face. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. Peace out! You know what Cameron's brewing? The 8 just changed to a 7 because I don't see a date on here either. I see C1016. M maybe that's October of this year when it expires? That's that's your may maybe salvation? So th maybe 7?